About eight months ago, I created a video talking about how I was going to be integrating my circle community inside of my Squarespace site. And I've made a few changes to how I am sort of managing each of those components. And so I want to provide that update to you because I've gotten a few questions on the video about how people can embed their community on their site. And I've sort of switched gears. So I want to go over that today. So if we jump into my Squarespace site, Basically, I'm selling access to the community through Squarespace in a member area. So I can click on that member area here. And the reason being is I have 0% transaction fees because I have the highest digital products plan that Squarespace offers because I'm already selling my courses on Squarespace. So I could just have people pay for their access to the community through Circle, but Circle's lowest tier has transaction fees. So it just seems like it makes more sense to have people pay through Squarespace and then get access to the community after they purchase through Squarespace. So there's a little bit of complexity that arises just because I don't want to pay transaction fees. So um, here is my community uh, in, in my member area in Squarespace. And so if I go to this page here, so this is what I had before as sort of like the page that people would get to once they purchased access to the community. And so I've embedded the circle community inside of the site. And I go over that in, in that previous video. The problem that I ran into that I didn't think about was any email communication that people get on when they click on something in that email, it takes them the, to the community outside of my website. But obviously circle doesn't know that when they click on an email, you know, something in an email that it should take them to the embedded version of the site. There's no way for Circle to know that this that their community was embedded in a website to begin with. So it led to sort of a disjointed experience where if if uh, I direct messaged somebody and they clicked on that message, it would take them you know outside just to a normal browser window where they would access the community that way. Or Circle provides this automatic every Thursday they send up send out a roundup of like the top posts that happened in the past week, which is a really great feature. But if someone clicks on a post to view it in the community, it's going to open outside, you know, in a separate window, not embedded on the site. So it sort of created this disjointed experience where, you know, people are accessing the community on my site, but then also half the time they're accessing the community off the site. So it just felt a little bit disjointed. So I just felt like it was easier to have the access still be paid for through the website, but have all the access to the community. Like when people are going to visit the community, have that not be embedded in the site. So what felt like a really good idea at the time, just in practice turned out to be, you know, not as cool as I thought it was going to be. So that's why I'm providing this update because I want to show you what I have now as the homepage of the member area. So let's jump back into the site. So this is my new welcome page. So when someone you know pays for access to the community, they land on this page now. And basically it has instructions for accessing the community. So if they're a new user, they'll click here and that'll take them to the sign up. If they're a returning user, they'll click here and that just takes them to the community home. And so for this sign up link, I walked through this in the video as well, but you can create an invitation link. So when someone clicks on that link, then it'll take them to the sign up page where you know they're setting up their name and their bio and email and login and all that stuff. So I've just pasted that uh, invitation link here. And then for returning users, again, this is just a link to the community homepage. So when they click on this, it'll take it'll open up a new window and take them to the community home. But again, it's sort of like making the experience more consistent and that, you know, whenever they're joining the community, it's going to be outside of my website. Um, and I've just found that this is just a better experience overall, even though it's not so like embedded in the website. Consistency, I think, is the most important thing here. So that is my new system. Um, I definitely suggest if you're you know, selling through Squarespace, but having access to the community inside of Circle that you do this new method that I showed here where you just have like instructions inside of the member area. So if they ever log into your site and go to the member area, it'll take them to that you know, instruction page where it kind of feeds them into the right place, but they'll always be accessing off of Squarespace. So that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. If you're interested in customizing Squarespace, that's what I do here on the channel. So consider subscribing and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.